Looking at the shoreline at Stony Point, it doesn't look like much. But once you get in the water, everything changes and you realise this is an amazing thing. As soon as you walk in, even in really shallow water, you start to see a few cuttlefish. And at first you're like, oh wow, look, there's a cuttlefish. And you have a look at it, and it has a look at you. And then you move on a little bit further, go out a little bit deeper. Then you see some more cuttlefish, and a few more. And then you get a little bit further out, and it's not all that far. It might only be three meters deep, five meters deep. You start to see that there's cuttlefish just everywhere. And this is pretty much, well, it is the only place in the world where you can see a big aggregation of breeding cuttlefish like this. And then when you start to watch them, you can see, you can start to work out what's going on. Here you can see the female underneath. She's the little cuttlefish underneath. She's got much shorter arms. And at the moment, there's two males hovering above her and they're showing off to each other. This male right here is spreading himself out, making himself look as big as he can, trying to keep that other male away from his female. You can see him there keeping between the other male and the female. Now the female has come out, he's blocking the other male again, all puffed up, tentacles out. Meanwhile, the female here in the front, she's just going to sneak off up and down into a little hole in the rocks. They come here because they like to lay their eggs under rocks, and this is the only place in the whole top of Spencer Gulf where they can find those rocks. Now the male has followed her down into that little hole there, and bingo. This is what it looks like when they're mating. They're head to head. They've entwined all their arms and they're mating. As you swim around, you just see these amazing displays going on all around you. In this one, you can see there's a little female down there in the middle. And there's a couple of big males on one side, a big male on the other side, a male down here. So there's, there's at least four males here all around this little female who's down there in the middle. And now this big one here has turned around and looked at this fella. And he's not happy that he's come in close to the female. So he's gonna do his best impersonation of a huge cuttlefish to get rid of the other male. And there it is, all puffed up. Put the tentacles out. Get on top of the female to block the other male from coming in. And then look at the colours. Look at his back. Watch the black lines on his back. This is his threat display. Just the moving zebra stripes all down his back. His tentacles spread right out and just trying to lie down on top of that female and keep the other males away. So as you swim around, you see lots of this posturing going on and then as you swim back towards the shore, you see other things like I don't even know what was going on here. All the cuttlefish were, for some reason, up, all swimming around. This is a female in the front. There's another female going across. You can see the short arms. There's two males following her. So for some reason, they're all on the move. So you can go in here lots of times, and you can still see different things every time. 